Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger, and I'm here to uh, fairly quickly find out what's this rattle about. If you can't hear it, I'll put it to uh, put it near my microphone, and you can hear it. I don't know if you hear it. There's a different definite uh, rattle coming on I, I don't want know or what's I don't know if it's coming from the back end of the knife or the bearings so let's open it up and see what it is and I checked and uh, beforehand and um, all these screws are thankfully they're uh, eights so but I haven't taken the knife apart before, so I'm anxious to see if it will come apart. I think it's, uh, I think it's spinning. No, no. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull it off. Let's see if that comes apart. It's wanting to come apart. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's see if I can't get apart. I think this um, there's an internal barrel that was spinning in place. I don't know. Oh. Okay, let's see what this rattle is on about. Maybe a bearing fell out of this. Okay. Shit. Something fell out of the knife. I think this is the barrel spacer. Let's see if I can find it. I'll have to take a pause and get my uh, magnet yeah. back. So I thought it was the stop pin when I finally found it. It's just a pin that solid that I think rides in the the back spacer in this hole. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not this pin that rattles because it's kind of shaky. It's it doesn't it, it doesn't fit the hole perfectly. It's sort of uh, smaller than the hole. And uh, let me quickly put it back together and see if I can um, replicate this shakiness or this sound that I hear. Yeah, I don't hear the sound. Let's let's uh, put this pin in there. And put the backspacer and pin there and see if it that's the sound that I hear. I as I couldn't tell what it was coming from the back or the front. Let's put that in there No, I don't hear that sound either. I don't know what that sound was. Huh? Maybe I'll clean the knife and uh, I'll oil it and put it back together and see if I can't 
get it to me make a sound again their knife the, the knife wasn't loose and the knife wasn't it coming apart so doesn't, doesn't want to get off there okay so if you ever wondered what it looked like apart the the gin you could see it now so it's not particularly dirty it's not overly oily either but it's a good flipper so the the liners are nested so there's that and they're weight relieved too so this not the I don't know what the sound was it was just a a rattle sound when you oh, I could shake it or I could hear it whenever I uh, moved it quickly in my hand and it didn't exist white right when I got the knife it developed along the way so I dropped the knife a few times but I don't think that was the cause of it maybe it was I don't know I thought the one of the bearings were uh, loose in there, but apparently they're all encased still in the. Yeah, so I don't know what the sound was. I don't know if any of you guys got bought the gin, the XL gin size, and uh, encountered a rattle, but. I'm going to get it back to, I'm going to pause this and get it back together and see if I have a rattle still. Okay, welcome back. Um, mystery will remain a mystery, but the sound is not there anymore. I can't get it to rattle at all. So what I did, and I didn't show you guys, you remember that... This pin that was right about there in the knife that I said was too uh, big for the hole. I uh, take I took my other KPL, um, the KPL thick I or heavy, and I kind of uh, coated in it that pin in it and put it back in the hole just in case that would make a make a sticky situation that KPL heavy is not as slick as the the regular KPL so I didn't have anything so I could have probably found something but I I was wanting to get the knife back there quickly back together so I put that coating on this pin and stuck it in the hole and hopefully Hopefully that was what it was coming from, the sound. And it's not coming from it again. I'll, I'm, I'm shaking it like crazy by the microphone. And you can't hear it at all. So um, the knife went back together perfectly. There's a, a spacer in the back on the top screw in the pocket clip that spins. But if you apply a, a screwdriver on one side and the other, you can get it back together. It comes out, but it, one screw doesn't want to come out. It, it just wants to come out enough to get the knife apart. But you would have to hold the, the internal barrel spacer still to get the, the screw all the way out. But luckily, this screw on this side comes all the way out. So, so it, this, this barrel spacer spins. But I got the knife back together, no problems at all. So... It's uh, it's quite smooth. It's 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 smoother than it was uh, initially. Maybe I didn't see a lot of oil in there, so I I got it much oilier, so much slicker. <laughs> so yeah, the front flipper works even better than before. The top flipper. <laughs> I still hate I still hate top flippers, but oh, I still hate top flippers, but it works. 
So I'll treat it as a, a spidey flicker from now on anyway. So anyway, yeah, this knife is as simple as the, they come. There's not many parts and even the, the, the stop pin is incorporated into the blade. So still can't get it to rattle. I don't, it was tight. The pivot and the back screws were tight. So it wasn't coming apart. Even though I, I added some Loctite to the, the pivot screw just in case it came apart. But yeah, went back straight as an arrow, centered. Flips great. I think the lock is about 30%. I could uh, I could get it a little bit uh, more if I take it apart, but if I wedge this tool in there, I could, yeah, I could bend it and uh, leave it like that and get some more lock up. But I'll. Oh, I didn't have a problem with the lockup anyway, but it could be more like it's like about 30%. I would like it to be about 40 or 50%, but I'll take it. At least it's 30. <laughs> so you can see it. If you've uh, seen me flip this before, you can um, see it's much, the action's much better particularly the closing action it's more guillotine ish and I didn't ever I didn't do anything other than add oil so there's not a lot of oil in there to begin with so maybe you, if you have a problem with this uh, the gin or the Oni take it apart and uh, I don't know just put take it apart and put it back together if you hear any rattles uh, so yeah I'm, I'm gonna let you guys go other things uh, I want to do a personal shout out to JN that he made me uh, you should have saw this uh, earlier video he made me a walking stick and he made me some uh, fidget I don't know what you call it fidget sticks I've been squeezing these in my hands and uh, it's it primarily makes my hands feel better. I often have pain in my hands, so squeezing these sticks kind of uh, makes it feel better. I, I mean, I squeeze a knife like this too sometimes, but squeezing a stick, it's kind of, and you can put it together and do it and move it. I don't know. I like this very polished wood. The only other thing somebody asked me what knife this is was sitting on the table and I forgot about oh yeah I don't have I don't have the package of oh yeah I don't have the package anymore I probably put it away but this is a, a knife that I got from stuff we do and this is an old okapi made in South Africa it's kind of a traditional knife that it has a one of these uh what do you call it I, I don't know what they I don't know what these are called a lanyard or barrel something I don't know but this was a knife I had lying on my table on an earlier video and uh it's quite nice it came it comes from South Africa so I got this from Stuff We Do. It has a half stop. I got this from Stuff We Do in South Africa, but he sent me along with uh, the the Honey Badger. He sent me this knife and a, a few other items. So, all right, take care, Wastelanders.